Hey everybody, Michael Rosso here. I'm in John Fideli's kitchen. Hey, get out of my kitchen! <laughs> John's behind the camera today. And I get so many emails about our uh, do-it-yourself, develop-at-home, color-negative kit that I thought I'd do a video. People have been asking me, how do you do it? How do you do it, Mike? Well, fact of the matter is, you can develop your own color negatives at home in under 10 minutes. What? That's right. <laughs> That's right, using our FPP Home C41 negative kit. Now, in this container are packets to mix up three one liter containers of developer, Blix, Blix is bleach and fix, and stabilizer. And I use simple one liter water containers to hold the chemistry. I find them to be the most effective and they're flexible so I can squeeze excess air out to keep my chemistry fresh. Okay, first things first, the developer and the Blix need to be heated to about 103 degrees Fahrenheit in order to work properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is put them under scalding hot water in this bucket so they can come up to temperature so we can process the film. So I'm just going to bring it over here. I simply just put my chemistry in the bucket and use scalding hot tap water to completely fill up the bucket to bring the chemistry up to uh, speed as far as temperature is concerned. What I forgot today that you will need is a thermometer. Okay, so while the chemistry is heating up, I could chat for a minute about your film. And today, I'm developing actually two rolls of uh, film that John Fideli shot. Yeah. And, <laughs> and this is uh, Kodak Vision 3 500T film. What, what's that nasty layer called? Uh, Remjet layer. A Remjet. Now, this kit right here, this kit can develop color negative and just about any film. The kit, you can develop C41 film, that's color negative film. You can develop motion picture film or you can develop color slide film and get a color negative with some color shifting. Amazing. Now, I have preloaded my two rolls of film. This container holds two rolls of 35 millimeter film. I preloaded it in the dark. You will need to do the same thing. And usually I'm heating up my chemistry while loading the film. With the kit, you will need your bucket, Bucket. Your one liter containers, a film can container, bucket <laughs> can thing. Container. Yeah, you, a film <laughs> container. Uh, and you notice it says C41. C41. I use this specifically for my color film. I have a separate one for all my black and white work. So you may want to keep, keep them separate. Good idea. So we're about ready to uh, develop our film. I will like to point out that... Uh, this or any other photochemistry. If you have children in the house, this is not a project you want to do with small children around. No, you want to keep them outside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, you do not want to do this with children around. You either put them in a separate room, uh, send them to the neighbors, uh, or just send them away. Ditto for pets. Or a dog or a cat. You don't want anyone really, you know, getting into this stuff. Under lock and key. Also, what I'm going to be developing, you may want to get some uh, gloves because, you know, you just... You, you feel like a doctor when you put those on? I do, I do. You don't want to be touching this stuff. And uh, plus you'll see with this motion picture film that I'm developing, uh, it has a Remjet black carbon base. You'll see the black carbon base come off as we develop. By the way, we're going to do this in under 10 minutes. This is a really easy process. Believe me, folks, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And I mean that sincerely. So let's get to developing. Anyhow, here is my film. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is do a quick rinse. Hot water, cold water? Medium water. Thank you for asking. By the way, you should read the instructions that come with the kit. I mean, this is the kind of way I do it. Your way may vary a little bit following the same basic directions, of course. So now I just did a quick rinse of the film, just to coat the film so that uh, the chemistry kind of sticks to it better once you start pouring it in. Mm. I got my nice clock here. You could use a smarty phone or something else. 
But you're old school. That's old really school. Cool. So you want three and a half minutes. I set it to four minutes, and then I turn it on before I pour, giving a plus or minus. Pour out water for the rinse. Now I'm pretty much ready to start. Okay, now comes the crunch period. Okay, I'm going to set the clock. Here we go. Here's the clock. Go! Oh, go, oh, Mike! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first thing we want is developer. And I'm now going to pour the developer into the tank. All the way to the tippy top? Well, mm, um, yeah. I have two rolls of film in here, so you want to fill most of it. There we go. You can usually tell when it's at the top. Now it's in, and I give it a little agitation. Then I kind of, you know, then I kind of hang out. Sometimes I whistle, do a little agitation. Sometimes I do a little jig, like do a little agitation. Now what I have done is I have two funnels here. Uh, this says developer only. I only use this fun funnel for developer. I don't mix any of the other chemistry with it because you don't want to you don't want to get anything else in your developer. It's very, very important. For the, for, the, for the life of your developer, you don't want to get anything mixed in with your developer. Oh jeez. Oh boy. At two minutes on the clock. If you mix your blicks in your developer, or get drops of it into your developer, you will kill your developer. It will be the end of the life of this chemistry. So be very careful not to mix anything in the developer. Keep it all separate. That's my bird, by the way. Yes. That's a bird. A minute 30 on the clock, Chief. You're supposed to agitate like uh, every minute or something? Uh, you agitate every, yeah, every minute. That's what I do. Okay, folks. I think we're now ready. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's start pouring the developer back into the container. Now, after the developer, there is no rinse. You will pour your Blix. Next step is called Blix. You will just pour your Blix right in. Make sure all the developer is out of the container. There you go. And the first thing you want to do is seal your developer because you do not want anything else getting into it. So always squeeze out any extra air and then cap it nice and tight. Tight. Urgh. Done. Great. Okay, next step. Blix. Here it is. Now I'm going to put the Blix into... Let's get it in there. Now while I'm pouring it in, I'm remembering I did not set the clock. It's not that big of a deal. Oops. Step over here. Blix is six and a half minutes. So it was at six minutes because it was ready in the container. It's now in the container, as you can see. Give it a little agitation. Okay, what to do? Well, firstly, do not get rid of this bucket because the fact that we have a nice bucket of hot water here is a perfect, uh, perfect place to do a rinse of your film when we're finished. And I will show you in a second. Also, have a little bit of time. So putting everything aside, I'm going to take my developer funnel and nicely rinse it out. Remember, we don't want any other chemistry getting close to anything having to do with the developer. So just clean that out. Nicey nice. And just put it off to the side with the developer. Okay. Meanwhile, back to the clock. Ooh. Now this is where you can get the most creative with coming up with new songs, poems, or dances. So, we're here with the Blix. We're just minutes away, folks, from having negatives. Our very last step, when we're done over here, will be what's called stabilizer. This does not need to be heated, so you know, you kind of just let it hang out. Folks, by the way, while we're waiting for the uh, blicks to finish up, I will make some notes about uh, your chemistry. This chemistry, as of today, June 7th, 2016, as you can see, this chemistry was mixed over six months ago, October 7th, 2015. The general life of a developer kit is about six months. And you can 
It's not recommended, but you can squeeze upwards of 35 rolls of film out of this kit, which is pretty, pretty amazing. After about six months, just get yourself another kit and mix yourself up a nice fresh batch. Uh, time is uh, the enemy and air is the enemy. So if everything's uh, tightly uh, capped and stored properly, you should be okay. But after about six months, regardless of how many rolls you ran through it, you should probably think about a refresh. Okay, folks, I did my last agitation. We're pretty close to the end here. Pour back the chemistry. As you can see, it's very purpley. It's always purpley. It's kind of grapey looking. When you seal it, make sure you squeeze out any excess air because that is what's going to kill your chemistry over time. I am now going to uh, put a rinse through here. At this point, you can open up your light tight container and pull out your film. There's our two rolls of film. The first thing I do is I put them in the drink. Look at that. Look at that. Now I clean this out because it makes it real easy. I put my stabilizer in here for the last step. So I take stabilizer. There it is. Stab. And then I put my stabilizer into my container. Now normally with regular C41 or even E6 slide film that you're cross -pop processing to negatives, you'd be kind of done. You would, you would just rinse off and put, put the, uh, you would just rinse off and put this into uh, your stabilizer. But because this is a motion... Nina, stop! <laughs> because this is a motion picture film, you do have a black carbon ramjet to deal with. So let's put it in the water. With your gloves on, we need to rub off, and here's your emulsion, which you do not want to scratch, and here is the shiny side, and this is where the REM jet is, and as you can see, or not see, it's really just a big nothing. It's just a black base. You'll read all sorts of like threads online about you have to scrub this off, and you have to use baking soda. As Sam Sherman would say, that's complete nonsense. You just put it in the water, this is hot water, and the black carbon base of the film is just coming right off. And I, I just do it gently with my thumb. I, see? Oh, black thumb. Yeah, black thumb. It's no big deal. It's just a black carbon base. And the wonderful thing about this process is that we have negative. We have images. We ha Or as Inspector Clouseau would say, we have a homage. <laughs> So what I do is I take the most of it off in the bucket there, but then as I'm bringing it out of the bucket, I also do one last rinse under the water. Remember, if you're dealing with hot water, don't scald yourself. Nice. Now I'm going to take this one roll and put it into the stabilizer. Just throw it in there. Just throw it in. And you leave it in the stabilizer. Well, follow your directions. I leave it in there about a minute or so. I think that's what the directions say. What you will need to do, of course, is uh, do the same steps for your second roll of film. Usually while it's in the stabilizer, I rinse off my second roll of film. Remember, you can't believe everything you read online. I mean, there are lots of threads about, oh my god, the rim jet, whoa, it needs to be sandblasted off. Nonsense. This comes right off. Now, I can only speak for Kodak film, by the way. I've never processed Fuji motion picture film. It's, it's possible their rim jet is a little different. I'm really not sure. And now we're ready to hang our film. Uh, I forgot my squeegee. Stoops. I know, I know. And your thermometer. So, uh, and my thermometer. So I'm just going to squeegee with my fingers. Like that. And I'm also going to squeegee with a plain old really? paper. Yeah, can you believe it? With a plain old paper towel. Just like so. That's it. We're done. So there we have it, folks. 
let's take a look at some images that were processed using the FPP color negative kit. Here we go. Thank everyone for joining me. Uh, the FPP C41 kit, it's under $20. You could do up to 35 rolls of film, color negative from color film, regardless of what it is. It really is the most amazing thing. Please do take advantage of it and please do visit us online, filmphotographyproject.com. See you soon.